Hello YouTube, it's Crazy Train Kid or Matt Steverfin, which is my basically my brother's account and me combined. Matt Steve Arkan. His account is Train on Anyways, I'm still Crazy Train Kid. Um today I'm gonna reveal the Ather and Genesis HO Conrail GP15-1 number 1645. Um these see and sound. I don't know if I said it already because I'm stumbling and I'm just a little nervous to make this video. But anyways, let's get to let's talk about this. Um this JP15 um is like uh it's kinda old. Well not really old but when I well when the actually I purchased this at a hobby shop. Uh, it's called ZNZ Hobbies Inc. 101 Sloan Avenue, Trenton, or Mercerville, New Jersey. It says it's Trenton, but it's really kind of Mercy, Mercerville. But anyways, and I got this for a really good price. Let me turn on my light. The BTL. Um, I got it, it was originally $210 there, but they gave me a great discount for $160. I I love I, I I love them so much. I appreciate that for giving me a good deal on a really good engine. Um, it's the the new GP15 dash ones you see, the new Athen Genesis releases. You'll see it be kind of quality and it's expensive, like two hundred thirty dollars. Which I'm happy I got this one. I don't care if it's Conroe Conroe quality, you know, because that and because it's cheaper. I also have a lot of con a lot of just regular. Conrails and not qualities because quality seems to be more expensive. But all right, let's talk about the detail. Um, the front, a great plow detail. I put I put KD couplers on because they they're really good and I like I like it so much. I'm like um, the other couplers are okay, but um, I kind of break it at times a lot. Which I put KD couplers on in the metal, so they seem to be better. Um, you can see the hoses. I, I like in the plow detail. I like that. Um, now the hood. Um, I custom painted the marker, the marker lights. As you can see, because you can see it, it gets out a little bit. Uh, it comes in silver. But, I, but since I, the most con rails i seen, or x con rails I've seen, have red marker lights. So... I painted it. If you don't, um, if you don't mind, uh, what do you call, um, ruining your engine, like if you get a little paint out, um, if you don't mind, you can put marker lights on, then you can do it, you can go for it, you get everything brush. that's what I did, and it turned out pretty well. If you look at it, it looks like it's, um, factory painted a little bit, you can get really close to it, yeah, you can see it's custom painted. Okay. The side view. Okay. Um, that's my brother, um, Steve. Well, um, you should subscribe him on Train Lover 1999. He, um, he's more active than me. Yeah, he's basically the one who uploads videos. I'm at Steve R Fan and Train Lover 1999. Okay, back to the camera. The side view. It's, it's, um, it's regular can opener paint. Um, so 1645, GP15S1. Um, pretty good decaling um, over there. Here, all inside. Um, that's the thing I'm after, and they're really realistic. Um, this unit does not have dish lights, as you saw on the front. Um, the trucks. See the, the detail on it? The plow, pretty good detail. Uh, there's a meter, right, whoops. There's a meter over there. I'm trying to get it without it blurring. There you go. Um, that's my brother's phone, don't worry. Um, no one's calling. Um, the rear trucks. So, this is a really good local engine. I'm going to use it for my Conrail locals since basically I do back the um, Conrail model railroading and older engines as you can see by my um, engines over here NS High Hood Conrail GP40 
um, custom con. Uh, my brother cust. My brother and I, but um, it was his his idea of um, custom patching a Bachman Spectrum DCC SD45. It was original ear lock on it, but now we did a 6076. We we did a pretty good job in making it elastic, and I, and I like it. The Conrad SD45. They make a great help uh, pair, but I use them as helpers. Um. Uh, Y2 CSX uh, SD40 2 um, XC board some 8211. I put uh, um, oh, um, decoder on it and make it DCC because DCC quick plug. And so we'll buy this Zoo Line box car, Conrad Hopper, PC Hopper. So you can tell I basically do. Um, uh, Santa Fe, um, all back end model railroading. But not, but not like steam, but not, but not the steam error. Okay, the back view. What I, what I really love about the back view is that this is the only engine I'm on it layout so far that has a plow, or a snow plow. This is the local engine, and juicy goes on reverse. So I see what Atherin did there, and it really was, and I appreciate that. The hoses, the KD coupler. Um, you can see also, uh, put the custom painted marker lights, the number boards, um, yeah, the top, um, the grills, well, yeah, the grills, um, the horn, and, um, yeah, and I'm going to do the underside of it. Um, you can see there's a screw and the plow and, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, the fuel, the fuel tank, so you can hold it upside down, like this, but I wouldn't recommend that, because that happened to my UPSD50 front handrails, um, it's running right now on my, on the analog controller, my brother's running it, um, I'm going to show it to you when it comes here, um, the wheels, and kind of a little dirty with this one here, but that's, but that's okay, and then that didn't look pretty clean. On his plastic 50, the front handrails, see? The broken Nathan engine. It's really realistic. It's kind of realistic. This was realistic. I custom lettered it. Um, also, KD couplers. See, snow plow and the hoses. But the front handrails are gone. Because the plow can come off. The, the fuel tank can come off. Sorry, I'm, I'm always mixing the plow and the fuel tank. So, the fuel tank comes off. So, that's. So I went, that's what after and does. Um, so check if there's a screw. Don't hold it by the plow. Hold it by the hood. Um, the side of it. And it'll be fine. Okay. Now to start up. Okay, we're going to do the start up of this uh, locomotive. Um, so, let's do it. Um, it's got no dish lights, so all you use the headlight. Um, you want my controller of the Rockman Easy Command Control Center. Um, ECC controller. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm stammering. I'm stumbling. I'm just, you know. No, mind. Um, so I'm gonna review the the number, um, the functions of it. Okay. Let's start um, backwards for some reason, but yeah, okay, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, start backwards. 10 is the light function. Um, 9 doesn't really do anything on my controller. 8 uh, quiets the locomotive. 7 dims the headlight. 6 doesn't do anything. Five doesn't do anything. If I dis if I am running a dish light, it should be a dish light function. Four is a dynamic brake. Three is short horn. It's got a nice uh, HO scale R3L. I I, I love that. I appreciate it. 
Now add in the show real stick and then the long one. And the bell function is number one. Okay. Um, let's, let's hear this when it moves. Now the back shot. Um, so basically, basically the same thing as front, the plow, um, couple of the marker lights, no dish lights, same hand light, no other things, but it's, it's a local engine. These are locals. So yeah, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. A uh, review of the Genesis GP15-1 Macron HO scale. Um, I didn't really get any way really get information about this because since um, this is my second DCC in Solid from Jack and Genesis, since I basically know the functions because this is my first engine and my last DCC in Solid Rock and Genesis, so I know how to work it. I don't really need any help. I don't have to program anything. I don't have to install anything, if I would do, i probably install the other sites, but I'm not going to go near that. I don't want to break it. But, if you guys get this engine, you can do whatever you want. You can custom paint the marker lights. You can put the lights. Or you can just change the horn function. I didn't change the horn function. It's, um, it's default to R3L. I like that. They did a really good job of that. So, yeah. I, um... You could get uh, GP15-1 on uh, modeltrainstuff.com. Um, I think it's a really good website. It's cheap engines, or cheap prices, and good engines. I got this at my local hobby store. Once again, at ZNZ Hobbies, uh, 101 Sloan Avenue. It says Trenton, New Jersey, but it's really Mercerville. It's a nice hobby shop, nice people, good deals, great discount. The Spursy T10 was. 210 now it's 160. I appreciate that and it's a really good quality engine. It works for my locals. If you're looking for a local engine or a yard operator switcher, because basically SW 1500 just different type but still same thing style. So if you're looking to get a uh, yard switcher, um, local or short trains, if you're a back end monitor and if you want to get something, this would be this would be the engine. Um, I don't think I don't think you could I don't think you beat the price of one hundred sixty dollars of this engine at any other hobby, uh, place, website, or hobby shop, or the what um the comp the manufacturer itself. You cannot beat the price. So I don't think it's possible. I don't think yeah. I think it'd be very hard and rare to find a a one hundred sixty dollar engine. BCC and sound at the Genesis. I don't think you'll ever find it. I don't think you'll ever find a good price. I don't think. So, sorry to hurt your bones, but it's just, they just, really, it's just, I just, I just appreciate this. So, if you can get, yeah, if you're looking for any G15 or any engine, this should be it. Nice detail, R3L, horn function, it's really nice. So, if you can get an engine, this will be it. Um, let me just park my engine. So my brother can get through. I'm not gonna put it. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I feel like I'm for it. And I, I, I highly recommend you getting this locomotive. Um, so, wait, yeah. one more thing. I keep it between this one. Um, I forgot to talk about the handles. Uh, see how the strength is. I see. Uh, you, if you see on GP15, that's one. The handles are really fragile. As you just saw, like, um, f um, 10 seconds ago, like when I first squeezed it, um, a handrail popped out. I wouldn't do it. So I won't show them. They're fragile. If it gets in the realm and it lands on handrails, it's going to be pretty bad. But if the handrails do break, don't worry.
don't panic. You just leave it like that and make it try to make it realistic. Or I could try to glue it like I did right here with clear glue. I don't know if you can see it, but if you don't see it, that's good because that means I did a good job gluing. So, oh, yeah. I got Bye. this on my birthday on May 1st. So it's pretty new. Well, not me. Well, sorry, not me first. And on my birthday in uh, early, early May. So pretty new. And yeah, you should get this good engine, good detail. Good price. <laughs>